Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business. I have a great blog out there called 50mistakes.com. 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make, but really a lot of business owners make. And today we're going to talk about, um, what are we going to talk about today, Jamie? We're going to talk about the fact of business owners giving up very easily and quickly on their business without changing uh, different Without determination. Determination, yes. You know, we live in a small town here. We operate our business in a small town, 4,000 people. And we've seen so many businesses come in and close down six months later, a year, two years later, um, three years later. And they always have excuses, right, Jamie? Always an excuse. Oh, the, I, you know, I don't, ha I, I could, the local area won't support my business. I don't have enough of this, enough clientele. I, you know, their biggest problem is, Jamie, they just don't have enough determination. I mean, if you read Chet Holmes' book, he says, I don't know how many times there, 10, 20 times, to make a business work, you have to have pig-headed determination. You have to keep doing it until it works. Now, we've been in business 10 years. Um, we're really a mismatch uh, for the community. There are, we have some great following from the community, but really the masses um, really don't or couldn't support us because of our prices and they're really not into organic or healthy or sustainable food that we do so we had to figure out how do we get people into our door and we just kept figuring it out and trying and trying and trying and when you get one thing that works you focus on that one thing right you don't give up on that one thing you say wow you know just like um, Fred Smith with uh, with FedEx when he first started you know what they do they the first night they did a handful of packages and it wasn't like well this isn't working he said and he goes we've successfully sent two or three or four packages whatever the number was we've successfully sent two packages let's figure out how to successfully send 10 or 20 or 100 and I, that always resonated in my mind okay we did 15 people tonight right we did 15 people successful tonight let's figure out how to do 30 people successful or 40 or 50 so that story always always resonated with me and it always kept us moving forward it kept me moving forward are there any stories or any inspiration Jamie that kept you moving forward because it was tough it was really tough in the beginning we could have folded after four months six months after the first year and we could have made it sound like oh my gosh this is not the restaurant to be in this town and and we just don't have enough people and we were going bankrupt we could have made all those excuses up right Jamie absolutely and probably more but it, what, what, in your point of view, what kept you moving forward? Determination and not wanting to fail. I think that was the most important thing for me was that we needed to succeed no matter what. And whatever it took, we were going to do it. That, that's exactly what it was. And why we, Jamie, I could have easily gotten a job, a great paying job, and paid back our loans here in no time, right? Absolutely. And you could have gotten a job, you could have gone back to teaching school, benefits and stuff like that. So we both, it wasn't like this was our only thing and we could have easily had options to go get really good jobs and just put this all behind and say this isn't working. But we always kept focusing on, I think the bigger picture and the bigger picture was educating people, was becoming a destination restaurant, was me becoming sort of like a celebrity here like I do on YouTube. People come in because they watch my videos and the social media stuff is, makes a huge impact on our business. Would you say that, Jamie? Absolutely. And we love telling our stories on, on here on YouTube. And I love giving doing videos like this and giving advice. It's wonderful. So uh, if you have a small business or any business and it's not working, you have to figure out you have to do it until until, until it works, because it will work. I mean, it, it there you've not tried everything. I see so many business owners say, I've tried everything. No, you haven't tried everything. You have not, trust me, you have not tried anything. Join a mastermind group, um, read a lot of books, read a lot of business books. The E-Myth, um, Robert Gerber is great. Um, John Maxwell has a lot of great books. Uh, Chet Holmes has a phenomenal, phenomenal book. Listen to Tony Robbins. Get some of his books. Um, Neurolinguistic Programming is, is, you know, Bandler. The, these are books that are going to shape how you think and how you actually execute your business. Um, because believe me, there's people in worse situations than you, right, Jamie? Always somebody worse Always off. Always somebody worse off than you, and that's what Tony Robbins says. Man, you think you got it bad? There's many other cases that it's worse. So if you have a small business, keep plugging away. Um, and if you have any questions, if, especially if you're a restaurant, send me an email at help at 50mistakes.com. Thank you for watching.